going to simplify the following expressions. The first expression is two raised to the power of negative five. So looking at the exponent property shown here on the right, notice a raised to the power of negative m equals one over a raised to the power of positive m. So we move a to the power of negative m down to the denominator, notice how it changes the sign of the exponent. So applying this property to two raised to the power of negative five, two raised to the power of negative five is equal to one over two raised to the power of positive five. One way to help remember this rule is to write a to the power of negative m as a fraction with the denominator of one. And then from here, if we move a to the power of negative m down to the denominator, notice how the sign of the exponent changes. And this is true in general. If we move the base across a fraction bar, it will always change the sign of the exponent. So looking back at our expression, again we can write two to the power of negative five as a fraction with the denominator of one. And if we move two to the power of negative five down to the denominator, the sign of the exponent changes the positive five. And then from here we can evaluate two to the fifth. Two to the fifth means we have five factors of two, which equals two times two times two times two times two, which equals thirty-two. And therefore, the given expression simplifies to one over thirty-two. Next we have the fraction one-third raised to the power of negative two. Our first step will be to apply the power property of exponents shown here, where a raised to the power of m raised to the power of n equals a raised to the power of m times n. So if we have powers raised to powers, we multiply the exponents. So looking back at our fraction of one-third, this is really one to the first over three to the first. In this form we have powers raised to powers, and therefore we multiply the exponents. So this is equal to one raised to the power of one times negative two, which is negative two, over three raised to the power of one times negative two, which is also negative two. Now looking back at our exponent properties, notice here we have a raised to the power of negative m over b raised to the power of negative n equals b raised to the power of positive n over a raised to the power of positive m. So again, if we take these terms here and move them across the fraction bar, it will change the sign of the exponent. A raised to the power of negative m in the numerator is equal to a raised to the power of positive m in the denominator, and b raised to the power of negative n in the denominator is equal to b raised to the power of positive n in the numerator. So we can think of moving one raised to the power of negative two down to the denominator and three raised to the power of negative two up to the numerator. When we do this, the signs of the exponents will change. This is equal to three raised to the power of positive two over one raised to the power of positive two. Three squared is equal to three times three, which equals nine. One squared is equal to one times one, which equals one, and therefore the given expression simplifies to nine. Our last expression is one over five raised to the power of negative three. We can write this using a positive exponent if we move five raised to the power of negative three up to the numerator. And the exponent property for this is shown here. One over a raised to the power of negative m equals a raised to the power of positive m. And again, as a fraction, a raised to the power of positive m has a denominator of one. So again, if we move a to the negative m across the fraction bar, or in this case, up to the numerator, it changes the sign of the exponent. So one over five raised to the power of negative three is equal to five raised to the power of positive three over one, or just five raised to the power of positive three, which equals five times five times five, which equals 125. So the given expression simplifies to 125. Now before we go, let's verify these results on the calculator. So we first have two raised to the power of negative five, enter. To convert the decimal to a fraction, we press math, enter, enter, which does give us one over 32. Next we have the fraction of one third, raised to the power of negative two, enter, which does give us nine. And finally we have one divided by five, raised to the power of negative three, enter, which is equal to 125. So this does verify our work is correct. I hope you found this helpful.